history concept let's discuss about carlos law first let's have a look at the statement and the statement is that limiting molar conductivity of an electrolyte can be represented as sum of the indivisible contribution of the anion and cation of the electrolyte now you may find this statement little bit difficult so let me make it easy for you first of all it is talking about limiting molar conductivity let's say uh, it is talking about limiting molar conductivity of hcl then what is the statement saying is the sum of indivisible contribution of the anion and cation that means the limiting molar conductivity of hcl is sum of the limiting molar conductivity of h positive ion and limiting molar conductivity of cl negative ion similarly limiting molar conductivity of nh4cl is sum of limiting molar conductivity of nh4 positive ion and that of chloride ion also the limiting molar conductivity of water is sum of the limiting molar conductivity of proton and that of oh negative ion so irrespective of the fact it is that electrolyte is strong or weak every electrolyte follow this law why because we assume that in at infinite dilution uh the dissociation of even a weak electrolyte is 100% so at infinite dilution every electrolyte behaves as a strong electrolyte and it follow this law oh now i have a three equation now let's have a look at what are the advantages of this law i have three equations here now what i do that i subtract equation 1 from 2 that is equation 2 minus equation 1 and then into that i add equation 3 let's see what i get i get limiting molar conductivity of conductivity of h positive plus okay it is let me correct it so what i get that limiting molar conductivity of nh4 positive plus limiting molar conductivity of cl negative minus limiting molar conductivity of h positive minus limiting molar conductivity of cl negative plus limiting molar conductivity of proton plus limiting molar conductivity of oh negative ion this is what i get when i subtract equation 1 into from 2 and then i add uh, the equation 3 into the resulting equation okay now what is happening here chlorine part gets cancel out similarly proton parts also gets cancel out and what i get is limiting molar conductivity of nh4 positive plus limiting molar conductivity of oh negative which is equal to limiting molar conductivity of ammonium hydroxide nh4 oh negative so what i conclude that limiting molar conductivity of nh4 cl minus limiting molar conductivity of hcl plus limiting molar conductivity of water is equal to limiting molar conductivity of nh4 oh this is what is the beauty of this law that if i know the elect uh, the limiting molar conductivity of various ions or even various substances i can just manipulate them to find out the limiting molar conductivity of a new substance okay now let's have a look at a at a problem to understand this law more uh, correctly and what is given here that limiting molar conductivity of nacl hcl and sodium acetate are given respectively and we have to find out the limiting molar conductivity of acetic acid okay limiting molar conductivity of nacl is equal to is equal to limiting molar conductivity of na positive plus limiting molar conductivity of cl negative which is equal to uh, given here it is 126.4 similarly limiting molar conductivity of hcl is equal to limiting molar conductivity by h positive plus by cl negative and the value given here is 425.9 
Similarly, limiting molar conductivity of sodium acetate would be equal to sum of that by sodium ion plus acetate ion and that is given here as 91.0. Now, just see if mm, what I do that limiting uh, I take limiting molar conductivity of HCl into that I add the limiting molar conductivity of sodium acetate and from the resulting solu uh, equation I just subtract the limiting molar conductivity of NaCl let's have a look what I get I get lambda H positive plus Cl negative plus sodium ions plus that of acetate ion minus that of sodium ion minus that of chloride ion okay and so sodium sodium gets cancelled out similarly the chloride and I am left with the limiting molar conductivity of H positive and limiting molar conductivity of acetate ion which is equal to the limiting molar conductivity of acetic acid so what I have to do I have to just follow this equation and according to this the limiting molar conductivity of acetic acid would be equal to that of HCl 126.4 minus that of sodium acetate okay uh, 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 it would be equal to that of HCl HCl is 425.9 plus that of sodium acetate that is 91.0 minus that of NaCl which is 126.4 solving I get it like 390.5 as per centimeter square per mole thank you and please subscribe for more videos on chemistry